are we doing for the show? What are we doing for the show? Oh. Um, we'll talk about the brotherhood today. Um, we'll talk about our breakfast schedule, how we're going to be in six different places in New England, um, doing uh, men's breakfast, uh, which are, you know, those are awesome. Yeah, they are. And then we, and then we'll do, um, uh, we, <laughs> then we'll do, uh, we'll talk about the, the events that we're doing, the bowling, the go-kart thing, all that other stuff. And then we'll play Gabe's video, uh, the music video that he has. <laughs> and then, um, and then we'll do, um, then, then we'll do. So let's just start the show. Yeah, let's start the show. He's on TV, TV, man. <laughs> Welcome to Hope TV. I'm here surrounded by some of my best friends in the whole wide world, and I'm so excited to tell you that the Patriots are going to the, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. That's hey. right. Oh, oh, oh. That's hey. the Patriots. Hey. Ja vu. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you will be defeated by the Giants. <laughs> the Giants. Listen to me. I love your face. Oh brother. my! I love your face. Hey, you know, face. Face. You know I what? I just face. want to say something. What? Oh my God! Are they gonna be hitting Brady? <laughs> oh my God! Yesterday we you had this conversation. These guys are on fire. Do you realize that this show airs in New England? Oh whoopie doo <laughs> I'm a New Yorker. Oh here we go. I'm a Cowboy fan, but I am an NFC baby. Excuse me. The Giants. How long have you been living in New England? Re remember when Eddie Murphy years. said the Giants of New York thrash. <laughs> The Patriots. Well, anyway, <laughs> some of us are happy that the Patriots are going to the <laughs> Super Bowl. About it. I want to just congratulate the entire team. It's exciting for all of New England. Everybody's excited. I was uh, coming home from church uh, on Sunday night, went into a place called Five Guys, and as soon as I ordered my delicious uh, double cheeseburger. Very delicious. Delicious. Five guys. And a, and a bag of fries. Oh, my God. And a bag of fries. That you can share with your family. It's really you can deep. share with your family. I didn't go. What do you do with all those fries? Oh, my God. You can't eat them. Uh -uh. I'll finish it. Well, 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 anyway, I'm, I'm just about to get, and then, uh, and the entire uh, Gillette Stadium walks in, <laughs> five guys. <laughs> everybody, were, and everybody, it's like they're at the game. And I felt the energy that was at that place. Boy, was that Can exciting. I say something else? Felt what? the energy at Panera. Can I say something else? What? That that was a touchdown in the end zone. You know, it was a off. touchdown. Oh no, my goodness. But he caught it, he no. took two steps, and it, then they smacked no, it out. No, this, in real time. Caught this it, happened yesterday in two steps, class, and I couldn't. He's talking about slow He was fumbling yes, the ball. No, he, he wasn't. He they showed it. They, they showed, showed it. So he caught it and he didn't really have possession. I wish we had footage. Oh. I wish right we did have footage. Play. But at any rate, uh, controversy or not, the Pats are going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And this year yeah, is our again. year. They're going to lose again. It's our year. Fist pump. I'm excited All the way. It. Deja vu. That's <laughs> all I can say. <laughs> well, today we're going to be talking about uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but specifically, the Brotherhood. And let me just uh, take advantage and introduce my guest today. Uh, to my far left, and I mean far left, my boy, your boy, the reason you tune into Hope TV, his name is Aliud the Beast Hidalgo. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you call a smattering of applause. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get a lot of support from the crowd. No, I didn't. I, I know nobody was in it. You nobody was admitted in it. that you were a I giant hope you guys fan. at home are doing. Yay! <laughs> then I'm going to move all the way to my right, and I'm going to introduce my boy Angel, the Fireman El Bombero. Yeah. I'll bless you What's up, my brothers <laughs> and sisters? Bombero, yeah, Bombero. So right. happy that, that, that he came Pleasure all the way here. out from Boston to be with us today. And introducing to my left. Wicked, wicked. Uh, wicked, wicked, wicked. Born 30 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this yes. very day. Ta -da. Yes, yes. Espala. Yes. Gabriel Espala. <laughs> Santana El Hirapa. <laughs> the Schneck. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Thank Happy you. birthday. Thank it means you. a lot to me yes. that you, uh, you're firm here handshakes. with us. We were, we were doing that today before we started the show. Yeah, and firm. see your firm handshakes. Yeah, firm. You know, I tell my son that. Yeah. I tell my son you have to shake a hand and yeah. make him know that they're holding the hand yeah. of a young man. Yeah. Let him know. Yeah. Jami's got the strongest handshake. <laughs> Vice grip. He's got a vice grip. <laughs> yeah. Camera one over there? Yes. Camera one. He's got a vice grip there. She lets you I know. Want everyone to shake I'm my hand. I'm not playing. Today. Good to know. Yeah. Well, uh, we're excited. Uh, uh, 30 years, what, do you have any reflections, any thoughts on 30, 30 years of no, life? Of being 30 29 years, old? years has happened and now I'm 30. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's your deep thought by Jack Handy. Deep thought by Jack, Handy. Thought by Jack Handy. No, no. Um, <laughs> it was, I mean, you know, God has brought me this far. And, yeah. you know, I'm looking forward to my 30s now. I said that. Whole new chapter. Yeah. Wow. Did it feel funny coming out of your mouth? Yeah, I said, <laughs> I, I said 30. Pronounced 30. 30. <laughs> yeah. uh, 30. I'm, 
I'm not in my 30s. You in your 30s? No, I want to be you, in my you, 30s. You're not, you're not in our 30s. <laughs> no, not at all. Do you remember your 30s? Yes, I do. Yes, I, I want to be in my 30s. <laughs> I remember my 30s. I wouldn't oh, go back to my no. 30s if you paid me. I, my 30s were okay. You know, especially my, my early 30s, uncomfortable. That was, uh, honestly, that was the age where I started to really mature, and that was painful. Yeah, it was yeah. really painful. Thanks. Yep, I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward yeah. to my 30s. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to be you know, painful. The good yeah. news for you is that you have the brotherhood. Yes. When I was going through it. No. Mm -hmm. when I, was I remember 30, when the brotherhood. When I was 30, that's when the Lord really grabbed me up when yeah. I was 30. See that? Which one of them? I know. How about these? Did he give you a choke? I, I, I tapped out. <laughs> he tapped out. <laughs> I tapped out. I was like, you, give, you got you me. Give. You, you got me. I'm yours. What about you, 30? What do you remember? Oh, my God. Oh, 30 crazy. was not good. No? No, no. I mean, now I, I, I can see the difference being a Christian and, and not being a Christian. I can totally see the difference. Woo, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, my God. I want to do that no more. Oh, well, on behalf of all of Hope TV and Calvary Worship Center, we're excited that you chose to be with us this day. It's a very special day. I appreciate it. It's my family. All right. Uh, why don't we just uh, show everybody your video? Yeah. This is an awesome video. Yeah. I, yeah, yes. I was yeah. very proud of you, man. That was a yeah. good-looking video. Did it right here in one socket. So it was it was fun. Um, the director? It was Louis Acevedo Jr. Uh -huh. That's right. Oh, Louis. He's, uh, he's the media and the, and the adult uh yeah, I'm the young adult leader at our church, and um, he just, you know, let's just go and shoot, and it was fun, you know, quick shots. And What about the song? You, you recorded the, it? Yeah, the song was one of those songs um, I recorded with um, my friend Jose Juan um, Vasquez. And, um, oh, you mean yeah. the fitness instructor that almost our, killed me? Yeah, and me too. Show. Yes, yes. Yo, yeah. uh, he killed me, all right. And, and it was literally one of those five-minute songs. That yeah, just he just went right, right out the dome, yep. straight up. Yeah, right through it. And, and he's like, you know what, let's just make it into a single video, shoot it, and we shot it. All right. And um, it's real time by Spada. Coming at you right now. We'll That's be right. right back. Beat Buster Beat Productions. Buster. Sipping on my latte. Uh. Yeah, man. It's a cold winter. Winter season. Huh. Over three feet of snow outside, man. It's, it's a real problem. Listen. One sack and stand up. Spada. The flow was fantabulous, evangelist, lifting up his holy name from the East Coast to the city of Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm so sick, I'm arriving in an ambulance. I got the zeal to heal, reveal the word you gotta kneel. Feel the presence in your reverence. Man, I got the presence in the meal that I'm the evident. The evidence is fruit with the excellent pursuit that he's the truth. I got the proof that he's the eminent. I got to mention him in everything. The kingdom of the heavens will invade the earth in every sense. And every man will see the end of sin. It's a rap, it's a fact. Welcome back to Hope TV. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, presentation of Espada. 
Uh, what I like most about that video, you know what I like most about it, right? Yes, I do. The guy like this? Mm, yep. <laughs> That's my good friend Tony Aguilar, by the way. He's <laughs> and this is what I like. The guy that walks down the street in the bridge. Yep. <laughs> we, we said, Two you know people. what? That's good. It adds character <laughs> yeah, to the video. It, it felt like real scenery, you know. Was I was live. supposed to be in the video. <laughs> Somebody ain't call Some me. Some random person walked out. What were you going to do in the video? He, he wanted me to be in the video and what? never called me. I don't yes, think he wanted, I wanted him. Yes, I wanted him in the video <laughs> you for did. props effect. Well, I mean, you know, I could give you all the props you I want. Wanted, I, mean, I wanted to get on your back. Oh, I would have carried you. No. Nope. And then I would have felt. It would have been real, real <laughs> at that time. Well, funny that you say carry you. That's the kind of the theme of the Brotherhood. Uh, the Brotherhood is a ministry that's uh, uh, taken off in New England. Uh, that is built and designed to uh, uh, create a forum and a place, a network of brothers um, where we kind of can learn how to lean on one another. The scripture, uh, our scripture verse comes from Ecclesiastes where it says, two are better than one, for if one falls down, the other is there to pick him up. Woe to him who falls and has no one with him, for he has no one to pick him up. Um, the ministry of the brotherhood is designed so that no brother ever has to fall alone. We may, we may fall. The uh, truth is, there are pits in our lives, and we might find ourselves there. But if there's someone that's walking along this walk with us, we're less likely to make that fall and stay there. You know, the idea, guys, is if you're going to fall, you better have somebody to help you up. Yeah, amen. Because what happens to the guy that falls and, and, and doesn't get any help? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been there? Himself. I've been there plenty. Um, I, I mean, I want to say something, I mean, about the brotherhood. I mean, I remember when I was very young, uh, about 15, 16 years old, and I had uh, reared away from the Lord, and, and I came back to the Lord. That concept of brotherhood became really real in my life, a band of brothers. Right. Um, that was what we were trying to do with the youth. Yeah, ministry. we were trying to do it with the youth, and, you know, it was, it was still fresh. It was still young, and um, but that that model helped me become the man that I am today and, you know, to have to be comfortable around men. Right. You know, knowing that my brother there is the corner man. You know what I'm saying? And what, what he said on our last <coughs> breakfast was, you know, amazing. We have corner men, you know, having those angles. Angel, talk about, talk about that for us, because a lot of guys just are fighting alone and they don't have someone in their corner. Uh, at the last breakfast, which I want to tell you all about, uh, but at the last breakfast, uh, you mentioned to us that, man, we need somebody in our corner. What did that mean to you? Well, as the, the our time that we were sharing in our breakfast, uh, I, I just felt like we need... Like in boxing, a corner man is always needed in boxing. A yeah. boxer always refers to his corner man to, to um, motivate the boxer, to clean up the cuts, yep. the wounds, the swelling, um, to let him know how to counteract against <clears throat> excuse me, his opponent. Yeah. And um, we, in this brotherhood, I felt that we, are, uh, we become corner men for one another. Mm -hmm. We end up, you know, doing the playing these roles, which is amazing. And I just said, you know, just it was it was just the timing was everything. And, and this this brotherhood thing is uh, something that I thought that I could never find. Wow. And I'm finding it here. And it's like, uh, I don't know. God, God is a man of of uh, an individual. I can't you can't even call him an individual because he's just amazing. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. But yeah. he just puts everything into perspective. And, and that day and meeting with all these different brothers, he put a lot of things in perspective for me. Praise God. Amen. You know, th that, that, um, that visual of, of the corner man, it made me think of two things. First, the Rocky movie mm -hmm. yeah. with the old man yelling yep. at him, hey. come on, Rocco. Yeah. You know, every good boxing Get movie. Get off yeah. the ropes. Yeah, has a scene, <laughs> yep. has a scene mm -hmm. when the kid's getting beat up yep. and the corner man is giving him the pep talk. Mm -hmm. yep. We call it the Rocky speech. That's yep. it. Yep. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and and man, where would we be if we didn't have someone like that to just be in your corner and give you the Rocky speech? Yeah, I like what he said. I like what he said, though, because um, sometimes we're so in it that we, we, we lost our concentration and we can't see what the other one is doing. But yeah. the corner man sees everything. Right. Yeah. He you know? sees, hey, hey, when you're throw when he throws the right, he drops his. It's time for the hook. He he yeah. can tell you that from the corner because he's watching from the side. Yeah, right. And it's the same thing with God. He's 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 our corner man. He's he's watching over us, and as as we help each other, he's helping us to see our need. Right. You know, especially when 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 we're in a, a difficult uh, time or, or sad or, or we need love, because you know men don't 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 like to. Uh, they like yeah. to be alone and well, 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 <clears throat> except for sports. I mean, yeah. We're, we're sports. all right yep. with guys. Yep. I mean, look at guys on the baseball field. You walk by them, little yep. tap in the butt. Mm -hmm. You know, it's we're all right with affection. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're we're all right with affection when it's not real personal. Right. Yeah. 
Right. When it's sports and stuff like that, we're fine with it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to my life, my marriage, mm -hmm. my children, yeah. my job, I lost, mm -hmm. and all this stuff, we're not that affectionate in that area. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where we need our uh, our cornermen. Yep. The other thing it made me think of instantly was was Tito Trinidad and his dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Whenever Tito Perfect. got knocked down, Oh, they came slapped him in the face. Slapped him in the face. Yeah, he, would, he would say to him, and I'll say it in Spanish, and I'll say it in English. He, he'd say, okay, bang, ya cogiste el mejor de él. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver si él puede coger el mejor tuyo. Yeah, he, right. he, he would tell him, all right, you took his best punch. Let's see if he can take your It was best a motivation. Punch. Man, it was motivation. a motivation. A, 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 a I used to see him get smacked, and I want to, like, oh. That's when I, I, I said, see, the guy's ooh. in trouble. Yeah. His daddy smacked him. I yep. see him go down, <laughs> and his father's <laughs> This is after getting knocked yep. down. You go into the corner, he slaps you. Slaps you. But let me tell you something. The key about that, that slap was to get his attention. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. You know, because somebody smacks you. Yeah, hey, it, it wakes low. you up. You, Come it here. wakes you up. You're right. You're yeah. like, whoa, you okay, yeah. this is serious. Wake mm -hmm. up, pal. Yeah, yeah, wake, wake up. up. <laughs> Come on. You, you're better than I that. I think you just brought it home. It's, it looks awesome to, to watch it on TV, but, but when you're the one getting slapped, you're going, why are you slapping me? In yeah. front of <laughs> thousands and millions of people, he's like. But, let, but let's make it personal. <laughs> when someone challenges you mm -hmm. and confronts you, it's a slap in the face, you go, wait a minute. Who are you? And then that's when we have to say, hold on. You want me in your. You wanted me in your corner. Mm -hmm. right. This is my job. Yeah, right. It's really important. I mean, that right there, the the confrontation, something that men try to. We've shied away from for so long, and I think in the brotherhood, and and even in our themes, we've seen how it's been confrontational. God is really trying to confront us with His Word, but not just with His Word. But I'm just just being able to, for for me to approach you and and be like, hey, brother, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing that you're about to fall, and before you're about to fall, you know. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's fix that up, you know. <clears throat> so. Or, or, or you've been down there too long. It's mm -hmm. time to get out of yeah. there. Yeah. It's time yeah. to get out that far. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, listen, yeah. get help for enough your family. Enough is enough. Get help with that substance. <clears throat> you, you know, you've been, you've been messing around and you're acting like you're not addicted. But listen, you can't live without it. Mm -hmm. And you, you need that smack in your face. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes it, it's like you try to hide it, but everybody notices it. So you really can't hide it. So you would lie about it and, mm -hmm. and hide yeah. when we can see it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have to be, hey, listen, you're not hiding nothing from us. We already see it. We're trying to help you. So we're we trying really, to lift you up. So we really want you to get that idea that the brotherhood is about, about being there for one another, walking with one another. And if one of our brothers falls, we're going to come to the rescue. And you yeah. can talk about that because you come from something, um, um, a brotherhood of, of firemen. And, and you guys, I'm sure, have many experiences of people running into burning buildings when everybody else is running out. And, and, and I mean... You, you you just you, what do you do when 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 someone falls down in the heat of the moment and this is real life now when that when that takes place it's like the whole world freezes yeah because now the focus is not uh what's at task be it a fire be it uh some type of rescue when it's one of your own now that that individual is the focus and all the energy all the energy and all the focus and all the drive is on that wow. until you achieve it, you know, and you can't, and it, it, once you, you have to go for that goal. Once that goal is achieved, then you go on to other tasks, but you have to, we were just practicing the other day on how to go in and uh, rescue a firefighter down. Wow. That, that was just the other day. It's a wow. practice. It's mm -hmm. a practice. They're, they practice on how to save one another. Yeah, that's uh, great. Oh, that's it's, so it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. juicy right there. I, I, how you don't you don't know the feeling it is that you get, the gratification of when you do. I haven't had that, you know. And I, God forbid that I ever have to in my in my job, but in this world, in this work, of the the brotherhood, mm -hmm. it, it, what a gratification you would feel of that you were able to go into whatever atmosphere and go and help somebody that's in mm -hmm. need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, it's like a feeling, and, and I don't know. It's I think it would be a warm, tingly feeling what, yeah. throughout. That yeah. you were able to yeah. help some get out into something yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I've, yeah. I've never God. been in the heat of a fire, but I've been in the heat of, of talks of divorce. Yeah. And I've been in the heat of, of, of serious problems. I've been able to be that mm -hmm. brother. And yeah. you're right, man. There's nothing like really. getting into a situation and, and watching it change in front of your eyes because oh. you're there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is using you to speak those words. And yeah. it's and it's it's really humbling and and it's getting kind of hot in yeah, this. This yeah, subject it's, it's, is getting <laughs> nice and hot. I have to I take this waiting, jacket off. I was waiting for that. <laughs> the heat, the is, the heat, heat is, is on in here. Yeah. Lights, ladies I'm and gentlemen, I'm burning. I'm burning. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a subject too. <laughs>
Tom, Tom <laughs> pulling his sleeves up. But, but it does speak of something that, that, that we need to learn how to be professional uh, 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 lifesavers for one another. Yes. No. You yep. know? And, Absolutely. And it's, and, it's, and it's, I've been there for you guys, and you guys have been yeah. there for me, and, yeah. and it's, it's yeah. extremely gratifying. Yo, the, 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 especially when, you, when, when you're in pain and that person helps you, oh, my God, it's such a, it's such a weight that, that just, a weight that just, oh, my God, just falls right off of you, and you're like, man, I needed that. Uh -huh. I needed that because I've been there. You know, I've, I've, you know I've been there because yeah. I've come to you many times. I've been there. And that weight, just that release of like, okay, I got through this. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. You know, till the next time. <laughs> you know, and, till and, the next and time. And hopefully the next time the fall won't be as bad. Mm -hmm. right. Because we'll learn, you know, I have somebody. Mm -hmm. I don't have to try to do this on my own. I have someone to lean on. Yeah. So that's the heart of the brotherhood ministry. And if you're interested in uh, looking or talking to us, you can find us on Facebook it's the Brotherhood of New England on Facebook. Um, look us up, uh, like us, uh, send us a message, and I promise one of us will get back to you. We'll let you know about um, what our next events are and, 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 and how they're going to be coming and where they're going to be coming, and uh, we definitely want to connect to you. Uh, it's great that we have each other, but we are here for you. If you're watching right now and you're feeling like you're all alone and you're feeling like you're either falling or falling, we want to be here for you. Guys, I feel like we just should pray for somebody right now yeah. that's watching us. They might be yeah. watching live on TV or, or or on the Internet. But let's just lift up a prayer for, for the guys. Gabe, would you lead us in that, in that prayer sure. uh, for that guy that, that might be down and out in his luck, maybe looking for a job for a year or two now yeah. and yeah. just can't get up, uh, stress on the family, stress on the marriage, yeah. and, and they just need the Lord's cover. Amen. Um, I want to let you know that this is the time where God really wants to draw you back to himself. So Amen. we're just going to pray. Father, we thank you for this time, Lord, you, that, that we ha Lord. we've had together. Amen. Lord, but we want to pray for that individual right now. Jesus. Father, that if he's looking in the television right now, that he would see hope right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. We yes, want to know, we want to let them know that this is the moment, Lord God, in which you want to pick them up. You don't want to delay your, your time in picking him up, Lord God. So we just ask right now that you would just encourage him, Lord God, if he's going through a financial trouble, through, through stress in his ma in marriage, through, through um, the stress in the family, Lord God, we just ask right now, Lord God, that you would take that burden away, Lord God, and know, Lord, that he would know that that burden, Lord Father God, was not for him to carry, Lord God. Mm. So yeah. we ask right now, Lord God, that when you take that burden, you would give him, Father, joy, that you would yes, give him God. peace, mm -hmm. Lord God, Thank that he you. would Amen. know, Lord God, that you would not leave yes, him alone, Lord, until, Lord Father, he would realize that you have his back, Lord God. You, You're a God that has our back, Lord God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, the, the mission of this ministry is to equip men and, and to help men to teach them how to become the men that God wants them to be. Now, being for, there for one another is part of it, but really what we're trying to do is develop godly men that will stand for God and stand for their families. That means you're going to raise your own children. Mm -hmm. That means you're going you're gonna to stay with your wife when you want to run. Yeah. That means you're going to stay at the job. It's, it means you're going to be consistent. We're going to help you, and we're going to get, empower you uh, to face life's battles and, and not just kind of uh, hoard the... We're not looking at hold the fort mentality. Mm -hmm. We're talking about getting out there, being aggressive about your life, and living your life on purpose and intentionally. Too many of us are waiting for life to happen to us, and, and, and we're not being intentional about our life. Uh, uh, Eliu, talk about, uh, we were just talking about this the other day at church, about living an intentional <clears throat> life. Um, <clears throat> knowing that uh, uh, an intentional life will, will, will with purpose, Mm -hmm. With purpose, it's not just waking up and uh, uh, I don't want this. You know, you wanna you wanna live for that moment. Uh, when you wake up, give God thanks. Live for the moment. Um, don't don't sell yourself short either. You know, God gave us a, a good mind, a, so, a sound mind. Amen. You know, so that you can do whatever you want. You know, uh, as long as that it's it's good. Not, 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 we don't want you to do bad things. We want you to do good things. God wants you to do good things, but if you just give yourself your own self hope, lift yourself up, say, I could do this. Yeah. There's nothing you can't do. Man. You can do anything you want to. I learned that since I was a kid. There was instructed to me as my fathers and my and my mother. You can do and teachers too, you can do whatever you want. As long as you put yourself 
in the position of, of giving yourself hope, push yourself. Push yourself. Sometimes we need to push ourselves. When we don't push ourselves, we let ourselves down. And that's not living uh, 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 an, intentional, an life. intentional life. It's not. This year, we have uh, six breakfasts. We already did one. Um, and the first breakfast, we told you a little bit about it. It was fantastic. Each breakfast, we take on a, spir a, a spiritual theme, but something that you can take home and work in your own life. Mm -hmm. um, our next breakfast, uh, it's on the screen right now because I don't know the date right now. Uh, <laughs> so it'll be on the screen for you. And if you want to look up more dates about the breakfast that we do throughout New England, um, go to the Brotherhood of New England at Facebook.com. Uh, uh, you can see us there. Uh, but also, in addition to all the, the breakfast, the spiritual meetings that we do, we have a bowling tournament. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, uh, that's next week. That's the, next bowling the bowling tournament is next week. You need, you need to come out and, and be a part of CME. Anybody can come. Any man. Skills. Any <laughs> man that wants to come out and bowl. We also have uh, 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 different outings. Uh, we, get, we do uh, cookouts. We do uh, uh, a coffee, uh, coffee Bible studies yes. at coffee shops and stuff like that. And this year, the big thing we want to try to do is little go-kart races that we're trying to work on. It's going to be a, <laughs> Build a your own project. Go -kart. Build our I own go-kart. I hope we can do it. And I hope no one gets injur injured at all. <laughs> I know I won't be getting to the one I built. <laughs> I won't be getting the one I don't building. think the wheels can hold us. <laughs> so we want you to check us out. We want to be here for you. And we only just have a few more seconds left. Uh, gentlemen, say goodbye. Uh, uh, Angel, thanks for being with us. I know it's My pleasure. quick, but My pleasure. thank you so much for God being with us. God bless you all. Uh, Gabe, happy birthday. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Can't wait to be back. And See Elio, you next week. Thank you very much for watching Hope TV. Valerie, I miss you, baby. God bless you. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.